We're rascals and scoundrels, villains and knaves. Drink up, me heart is yo ho. We're devils and black sheep, really bad egg. Drink up, me heart is yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Yo ho, yo ho, Disney, don't sue me. Boss episode. What is up, you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. Once again, you are listening and watching Nerds and New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode 130. This is a big boss episode. So uh, we're uh, welcoming you along to join us on a grand adventure. You're probably wondering why I'm dressed up like this. Well, we're talking about Sea of Thieves. And with me today is. Archangel. Welcome, Mark Angel. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, since you're new. Um, okay, I am an old school CRPG and uh, grand strategy nerd. I've been playing video games since I was six, I think, and I currently live in New England. I am also the former roommate of our other guest. Yeah, I'm Laser Kid. I'm back again. Yeah, we're gonna talk about some Sea of Thieves. That's why I'm dressed up. As a thief, I guess. Yeah, But uh, we got plenty of stories. We've been playing it. It recently came out for PC, what? A month ago? A few months ago? Like that. Um, fair, it, it, the Steam release is pretty recent, which is why we all got a hold of it. The game itself came out for Xbox exclusively in 2018. And when I saw that, I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my god, that's, that's a pirate game, and I love pirates. Like, I am a pirate fanatic, and... I saw that and I just I wanted it and I was pissed that it was just for Xbox. So, you know, finally we get it for the the PC and I'm just yeah, Sunray reminded me of it and I was like, oh shit, I got we got to buy that. And so I bought it and we all ended up buying it, right? Yeah, it's funny like that. Like you got it, Sunray got it. I saw you guys playing it. Like man, I'm like, all right, I gotta get in on this. I gotta get in on this. Yeah. I want to join on on this. Eventually, I bought it and then we start talking about our adventures and suddenly like everyone just in our circle just buys this game. It's one of those games yeah. that that like you watch you watch a little gameplay and you automatically want to play. Like you mm. automatically wouldn't you agree with that Archangel? Absolutely. It's I I I forget what game I heard this about but it's uh an anecdote generator and yes. um, the art style everything about it is very engaging. I love very how well Pirates of the Caribbean slash honestly just the entirety of uh, New Orleans Square at Disneyland. That's how this game feels to me. Well, I like what you said at one point. Uh, okay, you said it's it's with the music especially, and you can hear it. There's a lot of like Disney fan, like Pirate to the Caribbean's fans definitely wrote this game. Oh yeah, no, the the music is right, freaking out of Disneyland. Well, all uh, the way even to like the just the just the sound effects. You yeah. Know? Uh, no, there's definitely. times. There's times that I'm just standing around and we're we're digging up treasure and I hear I hear like little cues that remind me of standing in line for the ride. I mean, if somebody told me that this is actually kept part of the uh, Disney theme park universe, as uh, our uh, friend uh, offhand Disney want to talk about, yeah. Uh, well, I guess not someone I know personally, but love the channel. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, well, he's talking about Offhand Disneyland, which is an amazing Disney Disneyland information channel and, and just Disney in general. So, yeah, yeah, I definitely love the channel, but he talks about like a, the Disneyland universe, <laughs> the connected story between the original rides. Yeah. And this feels like, if you told me this was a part of that, my shock level would be absolute zero. It feels right at home with it. It, it does. That's obviously not, it but it feels like it should be. Especially how it's not really grounded in reality, shall we say? Yeah. It's yeah. grounded in reality in the right ways, but it's not grounded in reality and also the yes. right ways. Yes. There's definitely some fantasy and reality in reality in both. Yeah, that's the, that's pretty much the origin of how we got that. We just, uh, we just started playing it and fell in love with it, and it's kind of and, like... And now I have 82 hours on it on Steam <laughs> in the last two weeks. Heaven help me. It's one of those games that... Um, it's cool to play. Personally, for me, it's cool to play alone. But at the same time, it's even what you can say. It's about any game. It's more fun playing with your friends. It is. It's more fun playing with with your mateys. I definitely yeah. agree with that. I haven't really had as much fun playing single player. But oh man, playing as a group, it's a oh, teamwork you. exercise, man. Everyone has to have a special right. station. Yep. It's actually that's how I got into it. Where. Um you guys were going off to play and you're like oh come with come with and i'm like okay you know what i'll buy it uh you know i'll set a timer and if we're if i'm 
if I hate it within an, uh, an hour and a half, I'll refund it. Yeah. And the next thing I know, I discover I'm a very good helmsman. Yes. And the rest is history. <laughs> well, I mean, I think I think within like 20 minutes of playing it, you're like, I like this game. <laughs> yeah, that's about right yeah. how that went. Oh yeah, because everyone was saying, oh, you know, steering a galleon is, you know, such a such so hard and so forth. And I'm like, well, let me try it. Let's see, because you know, I know how to steer a boat a little it's bit. Like I mean, not a pregnant life, but... cat was the term. Right yes, called. the pregnant cat right. with a well, rock in its e stomach. E e e e okay, so the two um, the two things you need to know to to pilot a galleon in Sea of Thieves. Um, one, you're not driving a car. You need to start steering back before you want to settle down on a bearing. Oh yeah. Two. One's uh, handle on the wheel that is different colored than all the others, and what exactly it's going to look like depends on the steering wheel cosmetic. But that is your um, a midships, and then with a sloop, it's one revolution to either side to get to full rudder, uh, one and a half for a brig, and then two full ones for a uh, for a galleon. And that's really what you need to know that and some practice. Yeah, practice makes perfect, especially with that. Oh yeah, now that that's the thing I still struggle with. I will never forget when the first time I'm like, I had to, to pick up the boat because we have a, a skelly ship coming at us near port, and Wild was driving. It was just the two of us, and I'm like, Wild's starting to shoot at him. I'm like, just drive. I'm like, okay, and I came aground. Oh yeah. So the basic premise of this is what what is anything is. I mean, there's a story. But we haven't really gone through much of the story. We got through the first part of it, and uh, we so we can't tell you too much of that. But uh, I have a feeling on this channel there will be uh, a whole video of us doing story missions, and that'll be fun. Uh, but that's future. Um, but there's there's the basic premise is making money, making money so you can. Uh, so you can upgrade the cosmetics of your character and your ship. Hmm. And uh, the way to do that oh. is you can... Well, there's several factions, but my favorite one is the uh, the Gold Hoarders. You go to that guy, you get yeah. a mission, you go out, you level up. And you level up your stuff Sparks so much. Spot. <laughs> exactly. Or, or Riddles, yeah. which is freaking yeah. yeah. awesome. Uh, and in, yeah. I mean, it's been said a thousand times, but it feels great when you find that treasure, when you get that thud. Yes. It's, oh, yeah, that, 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 that satisfying clunk is oh, yeah. one of my favorite. Um, and because I'm playing with controller, it doesn't just make the sound. I feel it on the controller. Yeah. Ooh. It vibrates. And oh, man, that feel. It's just it, they, they know how to make that, that controller feel nice when you hit it. It's just such a satisfying feedback. And then the sea battles are fun, you know. Uh, they... Well, you're Mr. Mouse and Keyboard, so I didn't think you'd give a crap. Oh, I would have done what I just did. <laughs> 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 no, it's a, you know, I can appreciate certain things about a controller. I'm just terrible at it, and mouse and keyboard are just better for me. Well, hey, I, I'm that's that's me in reverse. I can appreciate what mouse and keyboard does, but for me, controller is just easier. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, the, the the getting getting money is pretty easy uh, when you're not being hounded by other players or or <laughs> that, or, or skill ships, ships yeah. or any you know or the or kraken. The kraken. Uh, yeah. the, the worst, the probably the worst thing we've been hounded by, even worse than players, is the kraken. And the kraken. Fuck that thing. Moments. He almost had it once, and then a the player decided to come shoot at us, because, you know. I swear to God that algorithmically, the more loot you have in the ship, the more likely you are to get Krakened or Skelly shipped or something. I think oh, so, we had too. a pretty full hole the other day, and we didn't get anything. Well, no, we did. Yeah, didn't so. we Didn't we get attacked by a, a Skelly Galleon? That was before yeah, we, we had did. a ship, though. Oh no! This was this no. was after you, you took off, uh, Archangel. Uh, it was me, me, him, uh, me, LK, and I think it was Fandom, and we were we were we had to drop okay. her off at an island that and was circle before. around. Yeah, was that, before, that's okay. also something yeah. that happened. That was a good story um, too. Yeah, yeah, we we started hearing the music and we're like, we're docked at an island. We hear the music. Oh. Yeah, I thought you meant the Skelly Galleon that sank us the other day, so we'll no. save that. Oh, story. yeah, that's okay. That's I a... have a tale to tell. There, oh, there are many tales. We'll and dead that. men tale no tales. Technically, but, we're not dead. Exactly. Technically, no one's dead. If you die in that game, you just come back. And the ghost, oh, you, ghost you, pilot's just like, yeah, go back to life. Dumbass. The ghost pilot? <laughs> that guy's pretty pilot. bad at it. The ferryman, yeah. Yeah, the ferryman. He's just like, get out of here, you dumb shit. 
Yeah, you're talking to me like, oh, you're so grumpy. Like, oh, you think you're so like, oh, he is grumpy. Day. He's so mad at everything. Oh, and let's let's get into the lore. Like the lore. Yeah. So we haven't done much of the story mode, but there, the bits of the lore are all so permeated all over this world. You can pick up on things. It's it's. I want to. I actually want to put it on the same level of the, as the lore with like Elder Scrolls. It's it's see really that. well I done. See that. It's really well done. I mean, as far as how much they work, how much work they put into the lore, as opposed to, uh, you know, like, oh, this is you're a pirate. Good luck. Go have fun. You know, yeah, could have said, oh, hey, a pirate. Oh, here's yeah. treasure chests. Yeah. It wouldn't be as magical because there's clearly some shit going on. It's just a lot of the lore, like we found out just from online, looking at videos. Yeah, because looking up, what the heck was that? What is that? What yes. the is that? Um, okay. And there's, there's like under underwater caves. There's you know like Archangel found one while we were on our first quest, our first uh, story oh, yeah. quest. And, and we we figured out what that was because again we looked it up. It's like yes. what is this? Yeah. Um, it was really cool, and, and I think well, another one of our crewmates. Our, that's another thing. Our crewmates have like we started with four people. Now I think we're like up to twelve. Uh, nine, nine. If nine. we could all get online yeah, right. at once, we could have three galleons at alliance. Yes. We could um. take over a server and be like, no, none of it, none of your bullshit here. Fuck you. Well, not even that. We just, yeah. we would just be like, you know, I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna want to fuck with ships next to ships. Probably not. Yeah. You know, but uh, it's it's it, the the lore in the game is amazing. The uh, the game itself is fun. The gameplay feels good. Everything I don't I can't think of really one bad thing other than uh, the voice acting for um, we call him uh, Dick Beard. We call, we have several names for uh, Fireheart. Beard, but Flame Fireheart. Heart. Fireheart. Okay. Flameheart. It's Flameheart. Yeah, Flameheart. Flameheart. Okay, yes. Whatever. Whatever. The, Dick Beard. Dick Beard. Dick Beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all call him Dick Beard. But um, everything everything. In the game, as far as voice acting goes, because uh, the voice acting is mostly done with uh, the story, the story mode. Everything else, you talk to an NPC, it's like they make a noise, and that's about it. Yeah, you which know? is frankly nice. Yeah, it's not. It's, yeah, because it could be so much worse. But Dick Beard's voice is um, definitely not what we expected it to be. It's very yeah. Cliche. I was expecting something like LeChuck from Monkey Island. It's very much. I was expecting it. Booming, commanding, scary ass voice. Instead, it's kind of a guy who's just bitching about life. Now, if now if you're the voice actor, if you end up ever watching this for some miracle, and if you're the voice actor for that guy, I'm not downing you, man. Like I'm not dissing you, but the, it was just it was too cliche. It was too yeah, like you generic. You, yeah, it was too, way too generic, you know. Um, but you know what? For the game, whatever. It's just a small bitch. It's not that big a deal. Uh, no, other than that, um, the, the, the voice acting is actually pretty decent, which is surprising because from what I've read, it's all been done in-house, and if they got that performance out of in-house people, hats off to them. Oh, they yeah. probably took a lot of, there's probably a lot of takes, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and get to the stories. I'm going to let you gentlemen start with uh, your favorite stories, and we'll go from there. Right, so so yeah, uh, so first I just want to uh, mention that Twice I've tried to so play this game solo, and both times uh, it turned out very badly, so I just, I'm never going to play solo again. But <laughs> by all means, try it, but, you know, obviously not everyone has the same experience, but one piece of advice I'll give you, if you see that there's another player ship at an outpost, don't put in to sell treasure. I, I, they, they, they stole half my stuff, and I totally deserved it, but then the game glitched out on me, so I couldn't even try to get it back. Anyway... Um, so the story that LK and I were alluding to was this was, when was this, Saturday? Um, so the day before yesterday I think and um, so we, we're, we've got a good haul of stuff and so on a galleon there's the main deck and then the captain's cabin at the back of the main deck and then there's two decks below that so we like to stash our treasure when we're uh, playing a galleon in the captain's cabin because it's convenient and another thing, if you've never played this game, you can find rowboats. And if you find a rowboat, you can dock it to your ship. And on the galleon, it, it, it docks to the back of the ship. Is. Yeah, to the it docks to the back of the ship, and there's a side door from the captain's cabin that you go out to the rowboat. So, um, we're 
we've got a bunch of loot in the captain's uh, cabin, and we're sailing back. And all of a sudden, a skeleton ship comes up, and it is a galleon. It's the same class as us, meaning this is a very white knuckle fight. So we're fighting, we're fighting very hard, and we're messing them up, but they're messing us up even harder. And at a certain point, whoever, was it ULK who was doing damage control? I was, I was doing damage control, but I wasn't the only one. Okay, so we had two people doing damage control and two of us on the deck trying to shoot stuff. And um, and I was also dashing back and forth to the wheel. And at a certain point, the guys doing damage control are like, we're going down, we're going down. And LK says, get to the captain's cabin, throw everything in the rowboat. Because we we noticed a uh, previous time we got sunk that the rowboat won't sink with the ship, even if it's docked. Yeah. So LK and I are grabbing treasure and just throw it just dropping it in the row but one thing that's really nice in the game is if you put a piece of treasure down it stays where you put it there's no physics to it it glues to things which is really nice um so we we've got it we just barely if we got the last thing in the rowboat when the ship sinks out from under us so all of a sudden we're in the water i think i had a, one chest in the water so we get up in the boat put everything down okay so there's two of us in the middle of fucking nowhere in this tiny rowboat and you have to row by hand with a and d or Shoulder buttons, I guess, and the controller, whatever. Yeah, the however, controller, they have. controller buttons. I do want to add some details because you forgot a few things. Uh -oh. Okay, please. Uh, so we weren't going down yet when I'm like, we're about to go down. I could just feel it. I'm like, we're not going to be mm -hmm. able to turn this around. So I'm like, we need to put stuff in. And Sunray's like, Nah, we got this. I'm like, No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't, Sunray. So I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna put shit on that boat, and, and if 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 we don't sink, fine. And so we, mm -hmm. we, we scramble all that shit over there. And you and I were the only ones to get off the boat. Sunray died. So Sunray yep. went down with the ship. We survived in a rowboat in the middle of frickin' ass nowhere. It, we weren't, like, in a storm, but it was pretty stormy wet. It, it was choppy weather. It was weather. choppy water, yeah. The water so, was which pretty makes choppy. It, which makes it hard to, to row and also very hard to, even more than usual to steer the damn rowboat. We're Robots sea. don't like to turn very well we because were, you can't. We're heading towards Moro's outpost, if you know where that is, Wild. The, the, yeah. fun, the fun outpost um, before yeah. it sank. So we were in that general area. Well, somebody responds to the ship. It's like, hey, you're getting to Moro's outpost. Head that way. And we're like, we don't see anything. What direction? Oh, it should be right over there. The only thing over there, Sunray, is a giant ass volcano. Oh, that is the outpost. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, and this volcano is erupting, and I'm like, can those chunks of lava hurt us? Yep. I'm like, okay, so we take it on faith, and we row over, and we're looking, you know, maybe there's something on the side of the island and stuff. We row, we wound up circumnavigating the damn thing. <laughs> There's and, no outpost um, on that volcano. No, there, is, so, there is an outpost with a volcano. It wasn't this. You guys went to a right. volcano. It, yeah. And we, we weren't sure, yeah, and we somehow we didn't get hit or anything. Uh, we didn't take a scratch, uh, we, actually. However, we did end up coming across a player ship who ran right into us. Oh. Well, even before that, there were, like, one or two player oh, ships yeah, fighting like with a skelly galley and stuff. So there was, we were just waiting to come get get murdered and all of our stuff stolen but it never happened for some reason a, a player galleon almost ran us over at one point and just didn't stop so i it don't know if they didn't know us it, or what it would have t-boned us if we hadn't moved if he hadn't moved us faster you guys had all yeah. your all your stuff in the boat right like all the yep the all our stuff i'm surprised the they didn't see the shinies same I, don't know but they um, after they they should have seen us because they were having righteous they just kept going they ignored us I'm not complaining, so maybe no, they were just I. honorable treasure hunters like we it's, are. We've rogues. We do I, come I, across I, those from time to time. Yes, we, yeah, we do. I know we're not the only ones. In fact, I get the feeling we're the majority, but the problem is you can't tell most of the time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you just you the yeah. game that definitely makes you paranoid. Like you don't know oh, if, yeah. if people are friend or foe. And I guess yeah. if you think about it, I, I, I'm willing to bet you that it was like that in real life. You know back in the day. I bet you, if you've seen a strange um, ship, you were wondering if you yes and it, Yes and no. Um, it depends. Um, it, 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 being a pirate yourself, uh, yeah. they, they all, a lot of them in the Caribbean kind of knew each other. Um, there's They're a like very, very, drivers. Not, not to get into real history, but because mm -hmm. uh, actually one of my degrees is in history, but there's a very, very good book that I recommend to anyone who's into pirate lore. It's called uh, The Republic of Pirates. And you can find it on Amazon, and it is, if you basically want to know the real lore behind Assassin's Creed 4, for example, 
that's this book. And actually, okay, when uh, your parents, your, your father had it as a copy. And so that, that's where I first read it years ago. And then when AC4 came out and I'm playing the game, I'm like, holy shit, they, they brought in him and him and him. You know, uh, anyway. Yeah. But anyway, we, we just circle around and eventually Sunder's like, we're heading towards you. We can see you. We're like, you can? And then we suddenly see yeah. their names pop up. So we eventually yeah. dock back up with a new ship that had Samantha on board because she joined the game after we'd sunk. Yeah. Uh, and Wild, you actually started this because the treasure, this treasure, was treasure you helped us get. Oh, was it the other day? Yeah, the other day when you yeah. helped us get treasure, but you had to head off. Okay. So you weren't there right. to turn it in. That's this voyage. Yeah, so that's what happened after you left. That's and I, I think actually, now that I think about it, the reason we probably sank is because we had three people crewing a galleon. Gallon. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, and then Samantha joined um, in the middle of all of this, and so she helped us um, get docked up with the ship. And then we just went to a different outpost, sold all of it, kept all of it. It was a beautiful yeah. end to a traumatic experience. Which I kind of, I'll yeah. take back my earlier statement a little bit that my only bitch is that voice acting. I would love to have more people on a ship. Yeah. yeah. Even slew. two more I, per class. Yeah. Two, two more per class. class. I, I agree with that. I think two more per class would be about optimal. It'd be great to have four people on a sloop. Uh, what uh, what there's three and on five a on a brig, six yeah. on a galley, and I yeah. think that would be good. I and so. it, 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 I actually naively, not realizing how toxic some people on the Steam forums for this game can be, oh, um, I, I posted that suggestion, and I got back some very snippy arguments. But one guy made uh, in between being a jerk actually made a pretty good point that they deliberately balanced it so that you couldn't have people be everywhere at once. Yeah, um, and that makes so sense. It there does. may be some truth to that. It does, because if you think about it, like usually when when we're battling another player ship, there's at least one player on the ship that, that tries to board us. Yep. Imagine, right. imagine like that times two, you know, or three, three people. But then you'd have a whole bunch but of we'd more have, people, we'd have people ready on our end too. Yeah. Well, what if? So but what if? Kinda... But what if there's someone with only yeah. four people? Fair. That's fair. You know, I I it, I get I get it, but at the same time, I would love to have more. Cause, what I'd like them to do then, in that in, with that being the case, I'd love to be able to choose like if you know you're gonna have friends on, be able to go to the same server as your friends are on. Yeah. Or even if yeah. the game would prioritize, that would be nice. Because like, oh, yeah, if you go into a while, on your friend list, we'll put you on the same server. Yeah. That would be smart. You I know, mean, that's what I, uh, some of the other games I play do. Yeah, no, yeah. that would be good. That'd be much better. I think that. Uh, because we have a lot of people that play now. <laughs> we have Yeah, got, like yeah. I said, we got nine people. And yeah, I was yeah. actually thinking of Guild Wars 2 when we started playing that, a bunch of us. It, it, yeah. Literally, you could, um, you, as long as you ha were friends, it put you in the same instance. Yeah, it needs, they, they need to implement one of two things. And it doesn't really matter which one. Either an option for PvE, mm -hmm. or... You know, where, where you just decide if you want to be PvP or PvE. You don't throw those two classes together in the same yeah. server because that's not fair to the PvP. That's going to be toxic. Um, or you permit, um, or you permit uh, uh, private servers to have progress because right now there are private servers, but you can't actually earn gold. So there's not even just going very to little point. Rep. Right. So there's no point into it aside from party. Well, Someone Which, mentioned they really need one or the other. Someone kind of. mentioned Wild, that you're, you're sorry, to even, like, the Sea of Thieves community is going to bomb your podcast now that we've said that. Yeah, so, maybe, oh maybe not. Yeah. Oh my and gosh, so, the response. Yeah, to, look, to, yeah. look, we are playing, oh, according to them, we are playing the wrong game and we're little babies who don't know how to PvP. Let me, let me further uh, explain. If you play the game the way you want to play it, and that's good. I'm not bombing on people who like PvP or whatever. But if you like PvP, totally. that's fine. There are those totally. of us who don't want to be bothered. There are those of us who don't want. Imagine, imagine going into a game and being forced to play a certain way, and that's yeah. that's where we where we come in. Like, we're not gonna mess with you. We're the pirate crew. That's we're out to get booty. We're out to go do our own thing and have fun and have fun doing it. We're not gonna see the first ship and be like, oh, that guy's my target. Like some of these other idiots are doing, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, and if you play that way, yeah. I, don't, well, I called you an idiot. Well, sorry. Yeah. But well, even. I, I even as the game exists now, I have no beef with the people who are PvPers and come after us. Yeah. I have no problem with that. That's how the game's designed, and you know, we take our chances. 
that said, anybody who uses hacks in this game, fuck you with an egg beater. <laughs> I will add one additional comment to that. If you're attacking people who are clearly spawning in for the giggles, you're playing it wrong, and I mean that. I, if you're PvPing sure. no, people, you're, you're not playing the game wrong. You're just a like toxic it, asshole. You're, you're, you're not playing the game wrong. But if you're sitting there griefing people who haven't even started, fuck you. And I don't say that easily. You're just a toxic asshole if you're doing that. But uh, let's, you know, we're, we're talking about the neg negativity on this. Let's talk about the positivity. There's been a few people yeah, we've, oh yeah. we've come across, and that's one of my favorite stories. Uh, the one time we just started the game, and then we saw that um, the bri the brig go by. It was not it was a brig; it was a sloop go by, and it was very messed up. And and, and I just hear I hear this really small squeak vo of a voice. It's a gal going, "Please don't shoot us! Please don't!" You know, we got we have a sloop following yeah. us, and you guys were getting ready to to get off to go to another ship. I stuck around to make sure they were safe, and that they were like yeah. extremely grateful. Yeah, I'm glad that that see that that's a cool interaction. Yeah, and there, I mean there are people like that. My first gameplay was, I had a guy come up to me. I I literally just started, and he was jumping around, and he started text te chatting me in text and telling me, uh, uh, here, here's this mermaid, uh, tier mermaid, uh, emerald or whatnot, and he gave it to me. He says, here, here's a little money for you, and I was like, dang, dude, thanks, I appreciate that, and unfortunately that put me One in the, the mindset. That everyone was like that, but I learned that real quick. Yeah, one yeah. of the first things I saw was you, uh, a player helping you out because you were confused trying to find where to go. Yes. And, it, and before we knew how to turn, you know, Texas Beach off, yeah. he heard you. Yeah. And he's like, oh, it's over here. And he was helping you. He could have shot you taking your stuff. He wanted to be a jerk. But I thought he was going you. to. At that point, I was oh, very Yeah, paranoid. I thought so too at first. And I'm like, oh, no. Uh, and yeah, we, we went a little negative there for a minute because some of the communities like it, but a lot of the community isn't. A lot of the community is scared and doing their own thing, I think. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. Um, there's a lot of, but, and don't take the po the negativity on this. That was just like, hey, fuck those guys, you know, it's it's sad that this, yeah, this is a thing. It's, it's the hackers I have a problem with, because again, it is, as it stands, it is a PvP game, and if you come at us and you're not spawn camping, that's legit, you know? Yeah. I've I, like they, even though I said those guys who who uh, stole my who stole my stuff because I was dumb enough to put in the same port as them, I don't bear them any ill will, you know. Um, it it was uh, it, you know I made a mistake. They took advantage, and as people are ca uh, quick to point out, this is the sea of thieves. Yes, the, it is the sea of assholes for sure. And uh, I mean. I even, like Sunrise said one time, you know, it is a sea of assholes. I said, yeah, we're assholes too, to an extent. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we're not necessarily going out and making someone's gameplay bad. And again, going back to the, the, the PvE, PvP thing, um, the, the problem with that is simply they're for, you're forcing us to do something we weren't, we're not really, we didn't buy the game to do. Yeah, and Don't. the game is built with two different objectives in mind. It's not just a PvP game. And if it were, it would all be arena, because that's a thing. With that said, right. though, with that said, though, the fact that there is that scare, that you have a large hall... That is have, part of the experience. Agreed. And, and you have a ship off of this direction, a ship off that direction, and a skelly ship behind you, and there's a storm in yeah. front of you... That right there is a part of the experience. It's fun. It is I fun. Do so I do agree true. to an extent. It does a great zest, yes. And honestly, if there were PvE servers, I'd probably mostly still play on the PvP servers for that very reason. However, sometimes you just want to chill adventure and don't want to deal with people. Yes. That is a, a, oh, God. Real, a real mood sometimes, especially for newer players. Uh, it, it, they really should, if nothing else, make a, like, a noob-friendly zone that's, hey... This is, you're playing this game. It's your first couple hours. They can track your hours. Yeah. Well, speaking uh, of newer players, first, like, the tutorial is amazing. Oh yeah, the tutorial's freaking great. Yeah. Were you gonna say something, Archangel? Uh, I was saying that I I would probably only play PVE when I was soloing, because um, yeah. you know it's nice to it's nice to run a sloop by yourself, and you know even then you know I'd probably still fall to skellies and the kraken and stuff, but absolutely. You know, well, that's the, the, the worst. We haven't actually been sunk by other players very much. For the most part, it's been the game. Like the other day, we had a, a skeleton galleon, and we're like, "Shit! Well, we'll take it down." We took it down. 
Oh, hey, it's a Skelly Sloot. We took it down. Just hey, yesterday. Hey, it's a Skelly Brig. Oh, shit, this thing wants to fed. We took it down. Another Skelly Galleon. Fuck. The game really wanted to stab we, that. We game. were doing good. We, I think we got really lucky. I think a lot of it's luck, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're getting better as far as skill goes because, you know, when you first start, the, it's, it becomes muscle memory. You know what you got to do. And especially when and this game is it's good. Honestly, like if you're running a, a team of people in a business, put them on this game. This is a really good team building exercise. You learn it can be, yeah. to start relying on your crew. You I remember my first day we played the storm followed us everywhere we went oh yeah if you we, were bailing and so my first day <laughs> all day all the whole less, time the whole whole several hour session my first day in sea of thieves was me learning how to bail you were the so bail I master and bailed, <laughs> and bailed out the ship so whenever you'll notice whenever it gets stormy i volunteer to bail because because i know how to do it really lk well. the bucket king i am the king yeah. of the buckets you and the king of the lookouts, actually. LK is a really good lookout. Well, that, yeah, he got really, really good at that. He, he was good I, from I got, the beginning. He just got even better. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the job I've done the most, so I'm pretty good at it. Right. I can't drive the ship for, for shit. I do okay at navigation down below where you like you need to know where things are or do the sails. I'm yep. okay at that. Sailing the boat's my main weakness. I can I tell you what my boat. fucking weakness is. It's traps. Oh, well, Fuck I the have traps. everybody's weakness. Ugh. Oh, no, no, no. I you 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 and uh, fandom got through those traps no problem. Every time I got killed by those fucking things. I got through the first set of them, and then I thought, like, oh, I don't see any more traps for a while. There's no more traps. Oh, there's more traps. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of. Funny. You mean those stupid pendulum blades? Yes. Stuff? Fuck yeah, those things. Like, in, in, in that little cave in the. Uh, yeah. On that one island, the polka dot island. That was a really fun one, though. Yeah, when we have our nicknames for, for caves. Oh and, yes. And we, islands. We, we, and, we have name. There are actual names for these places, and sometimes we'll use them, but nine times out of ten we we make up our own. Sort of like we call Flameheart. His name's Flameheart. We all know it's Flameheart, but that's not what we call him. We call him Dickbeard. Yeah. Well, that that island is is got its own name. We call it Polka Dots. It's got yeah. a bunch of dots. We have other ones. T Bone like Steak our, Island. Our, yep, Steak yep. Island. Double Dick uh, Island. Double Dick. I was gonna get talking about Double Dick. It looks like a dick from two different sides. Yes. <laughs> so we have, yeah, we have, we have our nicknames, and we know what we're talking about once we say it. Uh, so I mean, we also have the, the the rock formation, the Kraken's asshole. So Archangel, you got to tell a story. Uh, it's your turn. Okay, why don't you go ahead and tell a story? Ooh. And that was the the. So let's see. Well, while he's thinking, just real quick, one other piece of terminology I want to throw out there for people: we have uh, termed uh, be going very slow, like to park. Uh, we call it going Disney speed. Yes, Disney speed. Disney speed. I've, uh, I, yeah, it really we've, works. We've, we've coined that phrase. So, uh, yeah, if you hear that anywhere, you know it came from us first. Generally, like the speed of the Pirates I of the Caribbean. I the king of our stories. I, I should have thought of this one sooner. You probably oh. know where this is going, Wild, because you were there. I have a feeling, but go on. So, we talked about other players, right? Well, I think our worst, yet also best experience with other players <laughs> comes... We are coming back to port with a bunch of crap. And Shoot we didn't notice Sunray. it. We didn't notice it, but there was another crew there. Yeah, it was me, Wild, Sunray, and we... I think we had somebody else. No, I think it was just yeah. the three of us. We're in a brig. could have just been us three. It, uh, it feels like there was somebody else, but I can't remember. It might have just been us three. Um, but we're, we're trying to sell our stuff, and uh, I'm heading in... And there's a person there. I'm like, oh, all right. And they kill me. And Sunrise already saw our shit on the island. And he's like, oh, they killed you, did they? So Sunrise starts looting their ship because they weren't guarding their ship. They were more interested in killing a bunch of guys on the island than guarding their ship or even stealing our they ship. had so much so shit on the ship. sold all of our stuff while, while we were getting killed over and over by these assholes. Sold all our stuff. Sold all of their <laughs> stuff. Then yep. I was in gold from them. The whole time and I'm peppering their ship with fire. Their ship. Yep. He sank <laughs> their ship. They sank our ship too. But we sold everything. We sank their ship. <laughs> and then they finally kill him. They finally kill him. And before he goes away, he goes out and says, Hey, assholes, 
sold all your shit and sunk your ship. And I think he said something else. It's probably he like said, thanks for the gold, you fuckers, oh, or something the, like there that. There it is, there it is. That is one of my favorite stories in this game. Just like, they wanted to be assholes, and you're not thick up to be assholes, but so what? We got all their money, bitch! Yeah, the <laughs> gameplay from yesterday was pretty good, too. We we had, that was, that was, of course, what you were mentioning earlier with the... Uh, the, the the skelly ships coming out of nowhere. We had a we oh, had a man, galleon, was... a brig. We had a sloop. We they just all came at us at once. And when we once we got done with one of them, another few of them would just appear out of the water. And uh, but what cracks me up is the fact that they kept hitting the rocks and each other. And then they yep. they'd take so much damage, then they'd run away. Like we saw. Well, I mean, if we're talking about, about the weird shit that was going on with ships yesterday, we gotta bring up what happened. Oh, today. I was getting on. To, I was getting to that. I was getting to okay. that. Okay. Uh, and then we all of a sudden, uh, one of our crewmates, uh, his name's Seraph in the game. I'll just refer to him as Seraph. That uh, works, yeah. But he goes, "Did you guys see that?" And I'm like, "What?" And I'm expecting something. The way he reacted, it sounded like something really bad happened. My, after all this other shit that happened, my heart was dropping. Like, or do you see like a kraken or something? And uh, he goes, "Did you see that? The ship did this thing. It like, it, I'm like, what are you talking about? What what ship? I don't see." He says it like. Came out of the water, got on its side, and this went straight up into the air. I think it's, it's sinking, guys. It's sinking. Question is, do we want to stick around or do we want to uh, dip because there's ships? But there's one right there, and there's one to our right where we're facing. Look what what. We got to see it after the gameplay, and I about fell out my chair laughing. Both of us were <laughs> dying. One of those really s glitched out moments that and the game doesn't glitch too much. When it does, it glitches no, it's, bad. No, it's really unusual, but uh, it didn't just go up. It spun. Yeah, it, it spun in a like circle. Like a football. As it was going up. Wrath of Clang, definitely. Yes. It was freaking hilarious. So, Archangel, yeah, I guess it's your turn know, again. Uh, okay. Um. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, uh, it, in terms of just stories, I mean, it's all just kind of one blur of... Because uh, it, it, steering the ship for me, I get very much into a zone where you know, people will be feeding me headings and I'll be yep. doing... And all this stuff will be happening and I'll just be oblivious because I am, you know, focusing on not hitting anything and stuff. It's really cathartic, actually. Well, that's why for the... For the galleon, it it's good to have two lookouts. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, so so ideally with a galleon, again, best practices. So you have one person in the crow's nest who's doing 360 far out surveillance. And LK, uh, LK is very very good at this to be the lookout. And then um, the thing with the galleon is if the if because the with the galleon there's three masts. So the, the the aft mast, the sail is pretty much above your head as the helmsman. And so when that's down, it's not blocking your viewer. If you're, uh, or the main sail, I should say, if it's all the way down, you really can't see out yeah. the front. And there's, and so usually we'll, we'll, we'll lower it to the point where I can, I, I have a bar where I can see just enough to see rocks and stuff, and that's fine. And then Keep the same with the core sail. The but there's sometimes we need full speed. And when we do that, we put all the sails all the way down, and then I need, you know, Wild's very good at this, or somebody, or somebody, I need somebody at the bow to tell me if I'm about to plow into a rock. <laughs> and, yeah. and the thing is, if you're ever doing this at the front of the ship, especially with the galleon, you need to give me, like, 30 seconds of warning, at least, or we're hitting. Because it that, takes that long to change. That pregnant course, cat with a rock in its stomach will take it a while took to me change. a while of being in the nest to be like to realize the exact time you need to, to know that. Right. So I'd be like, and hey, we got this thing. You're late. Damn it, no. Well, that's when damage yeah, control it's, comes into it, it's. It's a very different um, perspective up in the crow's nest. So, okay, you're actually getting much better at seeing in close. But uh, when you're in the crow's nest, particularly with the um, the sails up. I, LK just can't see stuff close in for the most part, so... Try, but thing. it is difficult. That's why it's I, good I, to have I, someone at the at the front of the ship watching yeah, for the yeah, shinies that we tend well, to sails are in the way. I'm getting better at spotting shinies. Okay, so <laughs> I, I can tell you that story. I think I remember it. So I, I, I'm still getting my bearings, and I'm learning that I can actually steer the ship and stuff. And, um, you know, so we're out there and it's gorgeous. I'm looking around, you know, we still have no fucking clue what's going on. You know how it is when you're like your first hour or two in a new game. You really have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, 
And so um, all of a sudden, I hear this music come up, and I'm like, oh, what's that? And then all of a sudden, these crack tentacles come up. And everyone's running and screaming around. I'm just looking at this like, okay, so this is happening. And then it starts wrapping <laughs> the ship. And the next thing I know, um, I get, I go flying into the air, and I look around, and I'm in the thing's mouth. I'm like, oh, it's eating me. This is cool. <laughs> and um, and I'm like, you know, what do I do? And they're like, they're like, I don't know, I don't know. And now we know, of course, you shoot it or smack it. Fire or bomb it, it or some it shit, yeah. Right, we, at the time, I don't think any of us realized you could fight this thing. And I mean, we were kind of panicking. And to me, it was just kind of this surreal experience of being murdered yes. by this amazing, this huge thing. And yeah, started um, off a series of events where we ended up seeing that cracker like six times in one day. Oh yeah, that was a bad day, you know. So okay, give us another story. Well, I my other fun favorite story is one where it was Shumi Wild, mm -hmm. and we had just gotten started. And we're heading off to this island. And I'm up in the nest looking around. Oh, there's a player ship. Oh, it's trying to chase, come up to us. Okay. And so while it's just playing evasive, we don't want to deal with this crap. So we're just trying to get away from them. And they keep chasing us. And they keep chasing us. And they keep chasing us. An hour later, they're still chasing us. No, we don't have shit. We just got started. We don't have any treasure. I did. I evaded the fuck out of that guy. But go on. Oh, yeah. you evaded. It was a good, like, hour chase on that thing. Eventually, he got really, really, really close. And so I came out my sniper rifle, and I tried to shoot him as a warning while I also was trying to hit him, hit him, just to be like, knock it off. He shot me back, killed me. We're just like, you know what? We don't have anything, so we just left. Mm -hmm. He got one kill and nothing after shooting us for an hour. It was kind of hilarious. We wasted it was time. it was pretty funny. Because we didn't want, we weren't all about we weren't about PvP at all. We just wanted to we were just trying to get our first our first chest is what we were trying to do. In that game. It's another free piece of advice. Um, if you don't want to PvP, uh, turn your lamps off because A, it's a, a signal that you want to be left alone. B, it makes you much harder to spot, especially at night. Yes. What about so the haul was, we had yesterday? You, yesterday, that oh, that because I got a picture of that. That haul was beautiful. We that we, was a beautiful, beautiful haul. We made so much gold on that. Oh I'm, yeah. Um, surprisingly, we didn't really have trouble selling it. No. Well, honestly, like. The weekends are probably worse for PV PvP players or people who are just looking for trouble mm. than it is on weekdays. It, it, listen, we run into more problematic player ships on the weekends. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. During the week, we really don't see them much. And honestly, like, if you evade... I've, I've, this is something I've learned. If you evade them long enough, they'll give up for the most part. Yeah, because you become not worth the effort. Except for that one guy who chases for an hour. Oh, he. But that was just one guy. That was one guy. That's not normal. He yeah. he wanted he whatever he I, he probably thought we had a lot of shit. We had nothing. But that's another yeah. thing we do is before we leave. We're pro I don't know if we're the only players that do it. I'm sure there's someone else that does it. But we uh we give our our ship a Viking funeral, and our ship is named the Ever Eastward because we're always <laughs> going. East. I call her the Double E, but yeah, it's a good name. Yeah, that's actually a good a good nickname, Double E, Ever Eastward, yeah. Double E is a good name for it, yeah. Uh, but she's a beautiful ship, and what we do is, at the end of the day, we, uh, most games, sometimes we don't, we give her a Viking funeral. We burn her and let her sink, and then we watch her sink, and while we're doing it, we play music. One more story that occurs to me is the other day, because um, there's actually four different instruments that are on your character in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. There's, let's see, like a banjo, um, a hurdy-gurdy, an accordion, and um, what's the a drum? The a drum. drum. So there's a couple different tunes that they'll play, and what's really cool is if you're drunk, you just can't play. But um, if your character's drunk... Well, you, but, can, you can uh, play, it's just you play horribly. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really funny that they took the trouble to record really bad renditions of these songs. Oh yeah, and it's the same songs. It's great, but anyway, so um, if one player in the group starts and is playing, if somebody else whips out their instrument, they'll automatically pick up the same song. So it's super easy to harmonize. So we're st standing on the deck, and uh, Fandom uh, has her blue parrot out uh, as walkers. And he's got a little costume now. So he's sitting there on the railing, and so she's playing music, and it's like, oh, God, he dances. So I pull out something else, and next thing you know, all four of us are around um, 
just we're a point we're just uh, let's figure out, oh, 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 watching this parent dance we're all playing what, what made it funny for me is you know we're you have a good old time the music's going and going and all of a sudden someone says hey is that a player ship and the music just stops yes <laughs> it was the <laughs> funniest moment there's certain drops that are really rare that you can kill like a skeleton or something with and he had a bag on him when I killed him and when you kill him you get that in game currency hmm which is interesting. I got like 122 of whatever the hell that was. Uh, the I gray think, stuff. Yeah. I think that okay. Uh, LK got it too because uh, he was playing with me when I did it. But it's really okay. rare. It was the first time I've ever found that type of skeleton and the music changed and it got really creepy. Hmm. But if I ever... Got, lot, got the uh, pay money currency. Yeah, if I ever find it again, I'm going to be happy. because I, I need to find it like five or six times so I can get a damn free pet. Yeah. It's it, it's funny how the game, you know, the, the lure of treasure is real. Like, the the last time we were playing together, we were all just super tired. It's like, let's go vlog this stuff and get off. And we didn't even have that much stuff. But So we're passing close by this island that's really more of a little sandbar. Yeah, on the way to the outpost. And mm -hmm. we look over and we see this red glow and it's a captain skeleton, which is like a boss skeleton that when you kill it, you get one of these uh, glowy skulls that you turn into the voodoo lady at the outpost and get yeah. some money. So um, we're like, you know what? Let's let's stop it. You know, we're, we're not in that much of a hurry. So we drop anchor real quick. We swarm ashore. We kill it real quick. I think we even actually were firing the ship's cannon because it was there. We, we killed it pretty easily. And then um, it, it dropped a gold skull, which, as far as I know, is the best kind. So, you know, the lure of treasure is real. It's like, yeah, we're all tired. We're in a hurry to get off. We're not in that much of a hurry. <laughs> There's you know? gold over here. A little extra gold won't There hurt. be treasure, me hearties. A little extra Yar. gold won't hurt. And it's, it, it's true. It is very true. Let me just end it with this. The Kraken. Fuck the Kraken. Fuck, fuck that, that thing. Kraken. Fuck that thing. Yeah. The game becomes... becomes it goes from, like... Sea of Thieves to a hentai really quickly. I'm not the fun kind. I'm not the fun no. kind. Definitely uh, not. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week on the next episode. Till then, guys, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always. Always.